Now at five booting bus routes. Fort Wayne Community Schools officials have already eliminated some bus service for next school year, and they still have to trim another $1 million from the budget. Good evening. FWCS is feeling the pinch of property tax caps. With a $9 million shortfall in the district's transportation budget alone, leaders have already eliminated some routes, but they still need to trim more. News Channel 15's Megan Royce has been following the story and has the latest. Megan? As a whole, the district has lost close to $30 million in funding because of property tax caps. Nine million of that was for bus service. Unfortunately, FWCS officials say they can't move state money from one budget to another. On top of that, they say there's just not enough that they could move around to cover the shortfall. This is such a big problem that there really isn't another place to go to solve the problem other than to reduce the amount of service that we're providing. Starting next school year, elementary school students living within a mile of their school won't get bus service. Same thing for middle schoolers living within a mile and a half and high schoolers in a two mile radius of their school. That alone will help cut 1.5 of the 2.5 million they have to trim. It'll make it a significant dent, but we still have to do some other things in order to reach the goal of the 2.5 million dollars. So that's why we're exploring some other options. That may mean adjusting school hours or even outsourcing bus service. Something that CEO at Community Action of Northeast Indiana, Steve Hoffman, says they did. Ten years ago, they cut bus routes entirely for their Head Start program. It's been a wonderful wonderful thing. We should have done it a long time before. Attendance is still high and they say it has boosted the morale of students and parents. A lot of our kids, we never even saw their parents. You know, they just put the kids on the bus. Kids would come to school and they'd go back on the bus. Um, now we are seeing parents as they drop kids off. Parents are staying and really helping out, engaging in the classrooms. School officials say they'll send a letter home next week to parents with information on how this will impact their child. There's also another informational meeting tonight at 6 at Anthus Career Center. Megan Royce, News Channel 15.